All right, guys, today I've got a pretty massive Aldi haul. You can see back here, lots of canned goods. I like Kroger veggies and canned goods, and there are some things that I've never tried at Aldi's before, lots of things I have. I'm having trouble getting what I need at my grocery store, so I love Aldi, and I thought I'm going to try some of their canned goods that I've not tried before. The prices are going crazy. There's all this talk of food shortages coming. I have been using out of my pantry, and I needed to replace some things, so I just did a big stock up. It's $196.73. Some of it will be used this week, but most of this is going to go into emergency pantry. I'm going to do the cold stuff first and get it put up. I got two packs of this bacon. This is a pound. It was under $3, and it looks really good. It said economy cut. Irregular slices. Okay, I didn't notice that in the store. I just noticed it said economy cut. Let's tear into this. That looks perfect. I don't know what is irregular about that. I never thought the day would come I'd be eating irregular bacon. <laughs> I'm cracking myself up. Let's look at this one. Okay, there's the other pack. I don't see anything... Well, okay, that looks a little irregular, but it looks good. It's all, looks like meat and not fat. Anyway, welcome to my kitchen where we'll be eating irregular bacon. Okay, let's move on. I've got crispy chicken strips. I'm going to do some quick dinners this week. My daughter is on fall break. My daughter is on fall break here. Our county schools are out. Okay, let's do this again. You can't do a grocery haul when your teenagers are at home. We're having too much fun. All right, we got some crispy chicken. We got some crispy chicken strips, some red bag chicken fillets, string cheese, some Kobe Jack cheese slices, Aldi brand of Laughing Cow. We got some mild cheddar cheese cubes, some of this rotisserie seasoned chicken breast, this lunch meat. It says a pound and it's two eight ounce packages. So that's very convenient. Sometimes we go through lunch meat, sometimes we don't. So we won't waste. A couple of cans of biscuits and a can of cinnamon rolls. And let's look at my produce. I was so tickled to go in. I got this nice bag of yellow potatoes can't really see them in there but they look good oh my butter lettuce salad it looked great and this is 10 13 is the date and today is 10 4 I believe so I started to get two of these but nah sometimes they just don't hold up but this one looks great and I did get me a head of lettuce and it looks wonderful it's not real heavy it's not been like frozen it's great couple of nice good crowns of broccoli and a cucumber okay now let's get to the stock up well here's some cheese singles I forgot about those okay I don't feel like this is obsessive hoarderness we are a family of four and this is going in my emergency pantry now yes I will rotate this into my regular pantry and replace it you know that's what I do I keep extras and then I replace my regular pantry with this and I keep buying to replenish so I never usually have to go and do a big stock up like this but it never fails when I don't then they start hollering food shortage so I just did a nice little stock up I've got two cans of fruit cocktail and fruit juice I got two big cans of yams because we got holidays coming and we ain't going without sweet potato casserole. I went ahead and got two small cans of pumpkin. I got two cans of pineapple chunks. I got four cans of apple pie filling. You just can't beat Aldi on these prices. And all of these things I've had from Aldi before. Two cans of sweetened condensed milk. You could not find evaporated milk at Aldi right now. That was interesting. 
two small boxes of vanilla pie filling. I went ahead and got a case, 12 cans of cut green beans. If you watch my What's For Dinners, you know we are a green bean eating family. I got a couple of cans of this to replace what I've used. This is Rotel. We've eaten this a million times. They're green beans. I have never had though because we're pretty hung up on Kroger's. So I took a chance buying 12 of them. I mean, we'll eat them. We'll suffer through it, but I'll let you know what we think. Got two cans of cream of mushroom and I got four cans of cream of chicken. Got two small cans of tomato sauce, two small cans of tomato paste, and two cans of diced tomatoes. I got two cans of sliced carrots. This is not something that we normally eat, but I did buy this just for emergency food purposes. It's four cans of whole potatoes. Now we will eat these. I mean, we won't let them go bad. We'll eat them, but it's not something I regularly go through like green beans and carrots. I got two cans of cream style corn and two cans of whole kernel sweet corn. I've never had their great northern beans or their corn. So I got two cans of great northern beans to try. We have had their refried beans and I got two cans of those and we have had their black beans and I got two cans of those. Two cans of mixed vegetables. I've not had their brand. Let's head on back here to some other pantry items. So I went ahead and got some black pepper and salt. Got me some slow cooker liners. Coffee filters. This is a 200 pack and that was a very good deal on these. Got two different kinds of toilet paper to be trying out. Got this. Somebody, I can't remember who it was, I saw them haul this the other day from Aldi and it's supposed to be like Scott. I don't normally use Scott, but this looks like not real thin paper. So we're going to try that one. And then I got a 12 pack of this one that's like Quilted Northern. And I think we have used this before. Also, getting low on brown sugar and the holidays are coming. I bought this to try. We'll have to let you know about this. This is a sauce pack. And it says it cooks in 45 minutes and you just pour this over your chicken and vegetables and it's supposed to have a roasted chicken flavor. So we will try that out for y'all. They had a bourbon, pork, and one other uh, type of this. I can't remember what it was. It was probably something for beef. Seems like it was home style beef roast or something like that. We'll let you know about that. Went ahead and got six bags of these instant potatoes. I use these often and, you know, they're good to have. We are still having trouble finding the Mott's fruit snacks. We tried these though and they're pretty good, quite a bit cheaper. Also, I'm trying this, the Berman's mayonnaise. Look like Hellman's? We shall see. It was more than a dollar less than Hellman's and I just don't want to be without mayonnaise, so I went ahead and got it. So when we open this up, I'll let you know. It'll be a while. I got two packs of taco seasoning. This was a good deal. This is like Sweet Baby Ray's, but this is Aldi's brand. I've not had it, but like I said, what I've had from Aldi's, I have liked. This was 40 ounces, and for some reason, these were on clearance for $1.59, I guess because it barbecues like a summer seasonal type thing. Okay, here's something I'm going to try. I love my chili, and I love my chili -o, and I'm not going to change that, but my friend Kat went to make my chili, and she had a hard time finding chili -o, and I get that. She also had a hard time finding Lux Pinto beans and Bush's chili beans. Now, I use this in my chili all the time. This is Aldi's brand of Rotel. The next time I make chili, and I'll have to get another can of these because I wasn't thinking it's a small can, but I got their brand of chili beans and their brand of pinto beans, and I'm going to make this with my chili -o seasoning, and let me show you chili -o in case you don't know what I'm talking about. This is chili -o. I don't usually get it with onion, but this time that's what I got for some reason. Uh, when I bought this, but anyhow, I'm gonna do this, which I know this is the secret. This is awesome But I'm gonna try it with different brands of beans. We shall see friends. We shall see Also having trouble. I like that 
is it Van Camp's Chili with Beans? And we like Kroger's Hot Dog Chili Sauce. Hey, I'm going to try this Aldi Chili with Beans. That looks a lot like Van Camp's, you know, their packaging. And then here's a chili with no beans. It's not necessarily a chili <laughs> sauce. Don't try to do a grocery haul with your family here. <clears throat> we have had Aldi mustard before. It's fine. I've used these panko breadcrumbs from Aldi. So they're great. We've had this before. It's the Olive Garden Aldi brand. We haven't had that Olive Garden chicken stuff in a long time. I think we're going to do that soon. Got some ranch dressing. I'm sure we've had this. I know I've had this. I've not had any sweet orange marmalade in a long time. So I got that just for me. Here's some snacks for lunches and such. We got the big thing that's like Cheez-Its. I'm pretty sure we've had that before. Got some Swiss rolls. Fudge chewy dipped granola bars. My husband's favorite. These are like the Girl Scout tagalongs. But much cheaper. Sorry, Girl Scouts. And I also got these fig bars for me because I like them. Now, we got some oyster crackers. I have not made those little where you put like the seasonings and butter on these and bake them up and make you like little um, seasoned crackers. So I'm going to do that. I haven't done that in a long time. It's almost hot chocolate season. And you know, I like to put these in my brownies. It makes them extra gooey. Do a box of like a family size brownie box and stir in about half of this little bag of marshmallows. It makes it amazing. It tastes like caramel. It's so gooey. I got us some non bread. We're going to do some non pizzas this week. Probably have some hot dogs this week. We got hot dog buns. Got some tortilla chips. The last packet of Hawaiian sweet rolls that they had that made me want those chicken bacon ranch sliders. So that's why we got the chicken. And then brioche buns, of course, for the Aldi, red bag chicken, and a loaf of honey wheat bread. Okay, we cannot forget the Isle of Shame. I had this stuff sent to the side and I forgot about it. Guys, I have been eyeing salad spinners forever, but I just don't want one because of the space they take up. I mean, I got a lot of canned goods I got to store here. I can't be giving up space. But this is a mini salad spinner, and I opened it up. This was the last one my Aldi had. This is a little bit bigger than like a four cup measuring cup. It's not the heavy duty as plastic. Oh God, that's the metric side. Hang on. There's not an American side. Okay, there it is, there it is, sorry. Okay, this says 10 cups. So that's a decent size, but it just does not have a large footprint. Look, my hand will like, it's like that wide. This was $7.99, I'm super stoked about this and I can definitely find enough room for that. I got this cute little calendar and I think these were like, I think these were $4.99. They sit like this, it's a perpetual calendar. It can be used year after year. You just flip it over and it is motivational. I got this for my 17 year old daughter. Purpose fuels passion. There is no limit to how radiant, alive, and irresistible you can be. And then the world is better with you in it. And then you see they're on the other side. You just flip it over. So that will probably go in her Christmas stocking and stuff like that. My daughter has on her vanity desk, my oldest daughter in her room. She doesn't really sit in there and put her makeup on. She usually sits up in the bed and does her makeup. But she has just her hardback chair that went with it. And it is where her um, nice desktop computer and all that is set up. But I found this little deal. These were $7.99 each piece. This is the back piece and it's velvety plush and it feels like memory foam. And that is what goes against your back. And then on the back side, it's like a mesh storage kind of deal. And then we also got the chair pad. This is it. It's squishy and like that too. That will go at the bottom. That is everything. So until next time, thank you for watching. And I send you love from my kitchen.